the last little while I've talked about all sorts of things. You know, this channel has kind of evolved in that sense. In a lot of ways, I've always tried to maintain being true to myself, being who I am, being something larger than life. Because of that, there's a lot that I have gone through and all of you have stuck around for that very long time. And I thank every, every last one of you. It, it's been it, It's been a journey just to get to this point. Now, there's a lot of questions that I've faced even myself in where we are now, like VR content. That in itself is a whole new place of genre. And I am, I am trying to look at other games. I'm trying to look at other methods for doing VR content. But the one thing that is staying true is trying to be true to myself, trying to be who I am, trying to express that as possible in where I can. And yeah, it's maybe behind this silly little avatar at this point, but it's something that I actually really enjoy. And it's, uh, it's been very different in that sense. Sure, good old days of Magic the Gathering, that, that was where we started on the channel, where I streamed a lot of Arena, was even part of the streamer program at one point. And that was content, but it never really felt real. It, it always, you go through the motions, there's lots of frustrations with that. Where in this type of content, I don't have frustrations. My, my biggest frustration is literally getting up in the morning and trying to record a video for this type of content. It's not easy. Not easy at all. And, you know, I want to do something a little bit more. But then the question is, is how far do I take it? What do I talk about? Who do I talk about? You know, recently I come across news stories and those news stories, yeah, I could talk about them. They probably would gain views. They would gain a massive amount of views, but they're not something that I think I need to talk about because they're not in a positive light. They're, they're not nice things that I'm seeing. I can add details to things I see and give my own opinion on it, which I've done for very a very long time with the commentary stuff, especially with video games. I'm still gonna try and do video game news in that sense but i don't want to dive into where there's millions of people losing their jobs i don't want to dive into how this video game decided to plug in a random person just because they have a label on that person that stuff that stuff doesn't drive me it doesn't make me happy it doesn't make anyone happy it just makes everyone sit there and bitch and moan and complain about content that honestly it is a lot easier to do. Where does that really leave me? It leaves me in a void. Recently, I put up some videos trying to find a place where I can sit there and, and, and jump from. We've done a few streams. I've done a lot from VRC or VR chat. And of course the, the Beat Saber stuff, that was entertaining. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Everyone song requesting recently found out someone's upset. What do I do about that? The, you know, this is the content I've made for years. People get upset. And it, it, it's, it's a struggle in that sense. It doesn't matter what you do online. It doesn't matter who you talk to. It doesn't matter the motions you go through to try and do things more that just seems to be larger than life. To try and sit there and say, hey, listen, this is cool. What you're doing is absolutely amazing and then you have a little bit in the back of your head and you have a little bit of people saying hey you know what this isn't that hard to do you can do these things and maybe that's what you do where does that leave me right i i'm sitting here and i i have to sit there and put one foot in front of the other and you know i i try and work a full-time job i'm going back to work very soon i'm just waiting on on results for for a test and then then i can go work and that's, you know, this is something I've done as a hobby now for the last eight years. And when I started content creation, it was to sit there and reach out into the void, into the void of the world and say, listen, I'm out here and I'm struggling. I need someone to talk to. And I found a lot of people. Now, those people that, you know, I've spoken to a lot of people. I, I, I know a lot of other content creators. And in a lot of senses, they've become friends but they've become friends in a more of a business-like sort of atmosphere. They're not like 
a deeper connection. Probably the closest one I can say is Desolator because we have done many of live streams with Green Hell and Magic the Gathering Arena. I, you know, I treasure those live streams and I treasure a lot of what we've done together, uh, just being able to make content and, and just have a, a, a really ridiculous time when it comes to making that type of content. In the last little bit, I've made friends that I feel like I connect a lot more with, that they, they just want the same thing. They want to just have a good time. They, 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 they want to be stupid, silly, chaotic, and that in itself is a lot of fun. I, I respect a lot of those people with, with the highest regards. I'm finding where I belong and I'm finding people in this world right now that hold the same interests that I've held for a very long time. A lot of them have the passion for video games. A lot of them have a passion for creation. And that's where I see what I see right now. I don't see like the furry stuff. It, it, it's unbelievable the amount of detail and the amount of work that goes into it. The amount of stuff you can do, it's endless. And you don't have a corporation sitting there going, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. You need to sit there and tell people a, a story that's going to prop someone up. Nobody needs that. Everyone's writing their own story. The future isn't written and tomorrow's a new day. And because of all of that, I, I sit there and I, I say, hey, listen, I am someone here and you know, recently there's been a little bit of discussion and I've, I've, I'm finding out, you know, a lot more things, you know, I'm new to all of this and I'm, I'm new to the Twitch community in that sense, but I'm not really that new when it comes to content creation, streaming. I understand nuances. I understand memes. I absolutely have a blast and I'm here for the memes. <laughs> that, that, that's gotta be the biggest thing out of all of this is when you have a funny meme, it goes and it, it influences a lot of people. I, I sit here on the top of a, of a crane right now in the middle of VR chat. When I can't do this at work. One of the things that I, I really do wish I could make for content is recording what I do for a living because some of the stuff I do for a living is absolutely wild. When you sit there and you work on electrical stuff, some of these things are absolutely gigantic. You, you know, the biggest thing I've ever worked on is a is a 13,000 kilowatt transformer. This thing is, is huge. It was giant. And they had to move it with cranes, you know, putting in, putting parts together to this thing had to be lifted up by crane. You can't pick these things up in the real life. You have to use other means. And here in VR, VR chat, you can sit there and you can be on top of a skyscraper. I can look down below. There's a lot of people that give vertigo with this type of stuff. I don't, I never have. I absolutely love being at height. And to me, this is second nature, right? It's one of the reasons why I've probably gone with the Phoenix motif. Always, always soaring in the sky, being much higher, larger than life, and just seeing everything that's in front of me. And, you know, recently I've spoken to a couple friends and, you know, they, they've talked about things Things that, you know, I, I generally don't buy into in a lot of runs, but I still sit there and I tell them, listen, I accept you for who you are. Not because of all these things, all these labels that have come down. I accept you for who you are. And that's something that not always you get in return. I've gone through this channel. I've had my ups and downs on this channel. And, you know, I don't dare speak of Baldur's Gate 3 because all of you, uh, the entire community brings a wrath down on top of me and you know the amount of threats and the amount of hate comments that i get on that i i just sit there i laugh at i don't even pay attention to it anymore i'm like if i if i want to throw out a video that's going to get a thousand views i'm just going to label it Baldur's gate 3 and, and and record a chair spinning because that's all it is the game when it comes down to the games when it comes down to being true you know i said my my business on that I, I saw something that wasn't right. I pointed out the truths of it. No one wants to hear the truth. The truth hurts some days. And for me, it's how do I say certain things? How do I tell people that I don't do things in a malicious way at all? I just try to have fun. I try, you know, I try to joke. 
the the the, the stuff that we see with uh, Kotake's uh, Alyssa Mercante, you know that that in itself is a ongoing debacle, you know. But once again, they're writing their own story, and that story, a lot of people are picking apart. Does it pay my bills? None of this pays my bills. So why in the world do I want to continue that type of thing? I've been here for eight years. Eight years I have been talking on YouTube about various, various things as a variety streamer, as a, as a person that sat there and injected into a lot of nerd culture, into a lot of pop culture, and I am a true diehard nerd. Video games are life. They're passion. They're fun. They're exciting. You can do so many more things role-playing i'm at a point now where i don't feel like i have to put up content to survive if you haven't noticed my content has kind of slowed down a little bit part of that is is because i have friends that are reaching out to me and they they, they tell me that listen what you've done is good keep doing it but do it at a pace that makes sense content where i'm putting out two videos a day it just doesn't work i have a family I have a, you know, I work a full-time job. I try and put out stuff. Honestly, what I can do for content, I can continue to make content. I can continue to be who I am. And that's the only thing I can do. You know, there's a few people that I'm, I was and am still kind of looking up at because I sit there and I go, what is going on here is very unique. Right now, I, I, I'm a bird. I, I, I'm a phoenix. I, I, I get to live a lot more. Sure, I'm not true in the form in that sense on what I envision as something more. That's coming. It's, you know, it's been a long time coming and I've been on the edge of my seat waiting for that. We've got the hoodie. This is only part of it. And this is just as I wait. There's a little bit more behind it. And I truly, truly thank them for this. And, you know, Under That made this. And if you've been to the Twitch streams, you know. You know who Under That is. He's a pretty amazing person right now. He's going out of his way to do things for others. You know, at some point, I sit here and I say, hey, listen, how do I, how do I go and do something more? And that's something more. In my case, I thought, you know, maybe showcasing a little bit and maybe putting it out there and say, hey, listen, these people are amazing people, and if you're not following them, maybe go follow them. Not, you know, and I, I've been in this game on YouTube for a long time. I've been here, and I know people don't agree with me on certain things. People agree with me on other things, and you can't please everyone, and that's something that I've used in my content for a long time. People can call me whatever they want under the sun. It's a fun time to be here, and it's something that I can enjoy and find good friends and do something more with anyone that's around the channel thank you for sticking around i do appreciate it if you want to see more of me i you know I, I now and again i will try and do a youtube stream and you know i gotta i gotta step out of this avatar some days i gotta step out of this avatar and you know just talk to you all in person because there's more to life than just being in an avatar although I gotta say, it makes for some very, very unique videos. Where does it, where does it go from there? Huh? Where does it go from there? We get to enjoy seeing everything in front of us. Anyway, I am your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. I will see you again very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.